Hello YouTube, it's me, Homeslice1998, and this is another edition of WWE Talk. Today we are going to talk about WrestleMania, Monday Night Raw, and future champions. First, we're going to start off with Monday Night Raw. And about Monday Night Raw, I want to talk about one thing in particular, and that was when Santino faced Jack Swagger for the United States Championship. Now, I didn't really care about the match itself because, you know, it's just... It's, you know, whatever. But I just want to say, hooray, I'm happy Santino is the United States champion. That makes me happy because Swagger does not deserve the championship. Because up until he won the title, he was on a losing streak. So from September all the way to January, he was losing. I don't even remember when he won a match. So why does he deserve the title? No one knows. And not to mention, he hardly defended the title, maybe defended it once or twice, never even competed on Raw, and the only time he did, he would lose. And he would only wrestle on superstars. So, I'm glad Santino Morello won the United States Championship, and by the way, Swagger, your hair looks so gay. Second thing I want to talk about is... WrestleMania. So basically everyone was talking about, oh yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. If you don't know who Shaquille O'Neal is, he's a basketball player that's retired. Oh yeah, Shaquille O'Neal is going to be at WrestleMania. He's going to fight the big show, yada, yada, yada. So anyways, I hear all this talk about Shaquille O'Neal. I was like, what? Shaquille O'Neal versus the big show? Or what are you talking about? So then I hear it on the radio. It's like, yeah, Shaquille O'Neal is going to be at WrestleMania. He's scheduled to fight the big show. I was like, okay, well, if you say so. So... Then I start believing that, oh yeah, Shaquille O'Neal is going to fight the Big Show at WrestleMania. But now, after watching SmackDown last week, I realize that it's going to be Cody Rhodes versus Big Show for the Intercontinental Championship. So then it made, it just turned everything up. It was just like a curveball. It's like... Whoa, didn't see that coming. What? Wait, so they just changed stuff up at the last minute? I'm not quite sure. So, does this mean Shaquille O'Neal is not going to be in a match at WrestleMania? What What does this mean? So, tell me what you guys think. And also, make sure to like this up. And, uh, so, anyways, I'm not quite sure what they're going to be doing now. Because Shaquille O'Neal is supposed to be a mania. Maybe he's just going to get the front row seat. At WrestleMania or something to watch it. But honestly, I don't know. And the third thing is, I want to talk about is, people that need to be this champion at least once in 2012. So, WWE, World Heavyweight, Intercontinental, United States, Tag Team, and Divas. So, I want every person that I name, I want them to at least be that champion at least once in 20, 2012. And feel free to... Um, go in the comment section and say, oh yeah, I want so-and-so to be this champion at least once in 2012. So for the WWE Championship, I want R-Truth to at least be the WWE Champion once in 2012. Because I kind of, I like R-Truth, okay? I think he's hilarious with um, when he's on the mic. His m wrestling skills has definitely improved since his old gimmick with the What's Up. The only time he was in the championship picture and he never even got the championship run that he deserved when he was teaming with The Miz. Because he was an awesome truth. Uh, and, he, you know, if I thought anyone would win the tag team titles, I would have been our truth and The Miz. But no, we have Primo and Primo Wannabe as the tag team champions now. So, what the hell? So, anyways, yeah, I want our truth to at least be the WWE champion once in 2012. Second, the um the World Heavyweight Championship. I want Wade Barrett to at least be the w to be the World Heavyweight Champion at least once in 2012. Because Wade Barrett is just great in the ring. I love him. Well, not okay. I don't love him. I think he's a great in the ring. He he's definitely got a nice move set. He's very charismatic. Uh, well, yeah, he's got good mic skills definitely. He talks funny, though, a little bit. But anyways, as I was getting to the point, Wade Barrett definitely deserves the world title because 
they had him going on this big push, like, during the beginning of September. Yeah, the bar barrage and stuff like that. And he was rolling right through, and then, er, tables, ladders, and chairs, loses. And then, since then, it's just been going down, down, down. Because after Tables, Ladders, and Chairs, when he lost to Randy Orton, he has gotten, I'm just going to say it, the shittiest theme song. Doesn't even fit him. He has gotten a new finishing move, which is actually pretty good. It, it works for him, a finishing move, but the theme song, the theme song does not work for him whatsoever. Because it's more of a he Slayer theme song, you know. So, that definitely doesn't work for him. He's got kind of like a new haircut, I guess. I don't really know. New attire and all that stuff. And, uh, now... He's gotten to the big show through Dolph Ziggler over the top row. And he, like, injured himself. Well, he didn't injure himself, but he got injured because of the big show. So... Yeah, that's where Wade Barrett is at. So, uh, I'm hoping when he comes back, he'll continue the Barrett Barrage, go higher and higher, and then get to that mountaintop of the World Heavyweight Championship. But I gotta say, I'm pretty pretty happy with Wade Barrett, or er, with Daniel Bryan, the World Heavyweight Champion. So, the champions right now, I'm happy with. For the Intercontinental Championship, if Cody Rhodes ever loses it, and uh, with Cody Rhodes not losing the Intercontinental title, and he's held it for 200 days, I'm fine with it. You know what? I kind of, I kind of like Cody Rhodes because he's great in the ring. He definitely knows his way around the ring, and he, and he's really good in the ring. He, he uses, he uses a little bit of high flying, grappling. You know, my Cody's done it. Um, so yeah, Cody is definitely good in the ring, but when he loses the title. I, though, I want this person to at least be the Intercontinental one time in 2012, and that is Ted DiBiase, because Ted DiBiase is definitely good enough to be in the mid-card section and um, defending the Intercontinental title. And, yeah, Ted DiBiase is good in the ring. He's... I know he just got injured again from SmackDown's tapings. I haven't watched SmackDown yet, but we'll see what happens. So, apparently he got injured again, but I'm hoping when he returns, he'll also get right to the top of the mid-card section and win the Intercontinental Championship. Because I could see a pretty good main event. We could have a b even pay-per-view material, even SmackDown material for the Intercontinental Championship. It's, it's going to be a fatal four-way. Ted DiBiase defending his title against... Hunico, Jess, Justin Gabriel, and Jinder Mahal. That'd be a pretty good main event, even though I want WWE to bury Jinder Mahal because I think he is talentless, okay? His... Oh, my God. Just don't even get me started on Jinder Mahal and Alberto Del Rio. And for the U.S. title right here, if I could choose one person to be the United States champion, uh, let's see here. I'd say Drew McIntyre. I want him to be the United States Champion at least once in 2012. Now, here's where I'm going to get at. I know he supposedly got fired, and he's leaving now. Well, I don't know if he's leaving, but maybe since he got fired from SmackDown, he'll beg John Laurinaitis, because we know Laurinaitis is a heel, McIntyre is a heel, two heels put together. You're going to get something good. I think maybe Drew McIntyre will beg his way into a match or into uh, back into a contract on Monday Night Raw. And he's going to, he could keep winning. And then finally, when he actually needs some help, Vicky Guerrero can come in and assist him. So she can have three people. So, and then get Drew McIntyre to the United States Championship. So that's who I would choose if I could have one person the United States Championship. Next, we got the tag team. Okay, so right now the tag team champions are Primo and Epico. If I could choose one person, one tag team to be the tag team champions at least once in 2012, it would definitely, definitely be Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel. 
I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, Justin Gabriel, Tyson Kidd, I barely know Justin Gabriel, or I'm, or not Justin Gabriel, and I meant to say Trent Barretta and Tyson Kidd. Now, what I was getting at, people are probably going to be saying, oh, uh, Justin, or, oh my god, I keep messing up, Trent Barretta and Tyson Kidd. A lot of people are going to be saying, oh yeah, I basically know, I barely know Trent Barretta, and I hardly even know Tyson Kidd, all I know is that he was a tag team champion. Well, guess what? They are on NXT. They are amazing. I want you to go watch their matches. They are incredible. They're better than John Cena. Because John Cena is... Oh, okay, well, I think I've gone a little... Anyways, what I was getting at. Um, those two are unbelievable on NXT. I know it's on the internet, but... One of my friends, he's in the, he's in my friend box, or whatever it's called on my channel, even though YouTube got rid of the old channel designs, it's like, what, why fix what isn't broken, and they got these new channel designs, but he's in there. So, he made a vi highlight video, which you should go watch, um, it's basically a highlight video of Trent Barretta and Tyson Kidd from their match in February. And, um, Tyson Kidd wins the match, and then they're back, and then Trent Barretta is backstage, and Tyson Kidd comes in, and he's like, Hey, yeah, Trent, I want to talk about the match, and Trent's like, Yeah, 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 you won. And Tyson says, No, I want to tell, talk to you. How about we form a tag team, because every time we're in the ring, you, it, you've gained my respect, and we're equally matched, and Trent's like, Wait, are you serious? And he's like, Tyson says, Yeah, think about it. And so, those two form a tag team, and Vince McMahon does not screw him over, we could have one of the best tag teams in recent history. Because those two are just awesome, okay? They are so good in the ring. Tyson's finisher is like... He's standing on the top rope like this and then bounces back and does a back uh, moonsault. And Tremperetta... Just, just go watch the matches. As for Primo and Epico... I could probably think of about five different tag teams that deserve to be the tag team champions more than they do. Here's here's one. Tyson Kidd and Shrimp Barretta. The Usos. Uh, Kofi Kingston never born even. They deserve way more than those guys. Primo just comes out of nowhere, back from like the grave. It's like, whoa, where'd you come from? And Epico, I didn't even know about him until I saw him on Superstars. Um, the Usos, I don't know if I just said the Usos, but if I didn't, then the Usos, uh, oh no, I already said the Usos, didn't I? Well, I meant Tyler Rex and Kerr Hawkins, those guys are awesome too, and I can't name a fifth one, because, I don't know, but anyway, Zig Swag, yeah, Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger, oh, and maybe even Kofi Kingston, R-Truth, and yeah, those guys are good, uh, but anyways, yeah, so, those are who I would choose for my champ. Those are the people that I would be like, okay, if I want them, I want this this person to be this champion at least once in 2012. Oh, and I forgot the Divas Championship. To be honest, I'm happy with Beth Phoenix as the champion because her being from New York, she lives in Buffalo, and Buffalo is not very far away from here, so... Yeah, she's like a hometown girl, I guess you could say. But if I if I had to have one diva right here at the bottom of the list, because we all know we hate divas, for the divas champion, or one diva that I, like, what I've been saying, whatever I was saying, one diva to that I want to see as the divas champion at least once in 2012 would either be Eve Torres or Karma. Eve Torres only because... No one has appreciated what she's done. She has improved so much. She's pro she's probably the most talented diva on the roster. And Karma because she's a monster. So, yeah, that's who I would have as my champions. And there's also the WrestleMania talk and the Raw, a little bit of Raw talk. So, you leave in the description who you uh, who you want to see as each champion at least once in 2012. I just named mine. Mine was WWE R-Truth, World Heavyweight, Wade Bear. 
Intercontinental Teddy Biasi, United States Drew McIntyre, Tag Team Tyson Kidd and Tremperetta, Divas, Karma, or Eve. So you leave yours down there only if you want to. So I'll definitely look at I'm trying to respond to as many comments as I can. Be, and so yeah, and also make sure you like this up and Viking Crew for the win.